you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Brenda. If you love all things home decor, you're in the right place. If you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. Today, I'm finally bringing you guys an updated home tour, so make sure to keep on watching. Before we get started, if you've never seen me before, hit that subscribe button, join my YouTube fam, make sure to turn on the notification bell button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, and follow me over on TikTok and on Instagram, as always, linked down below in the description box. Now, I have made a ton of changes here in my apartment that I was like, you know what? It is time to do an updated apartment tour. So, for those of you guys who are new to my channel, this is an apartment that I am currently living in. Soon, very, very, very soon, I will be having my very first home. But for now, I made some changes here since we are gonna be here for a couple of more months. And I wanted to share with you guys some of those changes. Every single item in my apartment will be linked down below in the description box in case you guys see something that you like. And before we get started with the tour, I wanted to give you guys a huge huge announcement as a token of my appreciation for 17,000 subscribers. Another thing that I had not done in a while was a giveaway. I am excited to do a giveaway for you guys. As always, very easy rules to follow by, but before I share with you guys the rules, I wanna show you what I will be giving away. It is this Tom Ford coffee table book. Ah! Okay, you guys know, I love the original Tom Ford book. This one is even better you guys it is black and white just like the other one except it's just reversed the pictures inside are beautiful it looks really pretty in any uh, literally in any room that you put it in your home whether it's on a console table on a coffee table on a bookshelf in a bedroom wherever this is the most beautiful coffee table book that i thought one of my lucky subscribers deserves to win it oof it's heavy you guys i'm gonna put it down because i don't want to drop it it is extremely heavy now the giveaway rules are super simple all you have to do is hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed give this video a huge thumbs up so go ahead i'll wait <laughs> and of course comment down below where you would put this coffee table book would you put it in your living room in your bedroom in an office space let me know down below and of course i will be choosing the giveaway winner very 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 soon i'll most likely be announcing it in my next video so you guys Go ahead and follow those simple giveaway rules and good luck. Yeah. Let's start off with the dining room since it is probably one of the biggest changes I've made since my last home tour. Now, this dining table and these dining chairs are both from CB2. I will be talking to you guys about where every single piece in my home is. And of course, as always, like I mentioned earlier, it will be linked down below. I waited months and months and months, you guys, for this dining table and these dining chairs to arrive that when they did, I I was so excited, I was so stoked. I could not wait to share it with you guys. I shared it over on Instagram and over on TikTok, which by the way, go follow me. I am obsessed with these chairs, you guys, like obsessed. I have a boucle obsession. I have came to conclusion that I'm really obsessed with it and I am here for it. These chairs are beautiful. The reason why we chose to go with this combination in particular is because it flows with our living room furniture. We have the black with the neutral aesthetic and we honestly love it. It's very much our style. It's very modern. It's very minimal. Another reason why we chose to go with this specific setup is because we are going to be moving, we are taking this furniture with us to our home. These chairs can be utilized not only in a dining room you guys with your dining table but they can be used in an office space they can be used in a bedroom they can be used on their own as like a accent chair I'm gonna sit on it so you guys can see what do you guys think do you guys love them I love them they're so comfy and com like they're super comfy they're super easy to maintain that's another thing that I wanted to mention we are really used to you know maintaining our Gwyneth Boucle chairs which are from CB2 I will be talking about them in a little bit when we move towards the living room that we thought you know what we can maintain these will be okay but I am NOT gonna lie I'm a little bit nervous when people come over and they sit on them I'm like eh, just be 
very careful. They're like my babies. But nonetheless, they're beautiful and I absolutely love them. I cannot wait to take them with me when we move. And this dining table, oh my gosh, you guys, it was heck. V, like it took me and my husband to both haul this baby upstairs. It is concrete, you guys, like cement. It is so freaking heavy. Like it comes in two pieces. It is so beautiful. I'm actually planning on, if I don't keep it in my home, of putting it outdoors. I feel like this table can definitely be utilized indoor and outdoor, which is what I loved about it. And again, you guys, it's super, super sturdy. I love it. I could totally fit another chair if I absolutely wanted to, but because it is only three of us, you guys, this is perfect. Moving along, the setup that I have right now is very, very minimal and beautiful. And you guys know I always have fresh flowers in my home. Every single week I have to have fresh flowers in my home. It's like, it makes my soul happy. This vase is from Target and then the flowers are from Trader Joe's and then these cute little coasters. <laughs> I got them from Amazon. If you guys missed my latest Amazon haul, go and check it out. These items will be linked. This chandelier right here was one of the first pieces we bought when we moved in. It is from West Elm. I absolutely love it. It is another piece that we will be taking with us to our forever home. I won't be taking everything, but most of the pieces I will be taking home. So this chandelier can look beautiful in any room. You can put it in a bedroom, in a living room, in a dining room, in an office space, in a, even a closet. It looks beautiful if you're able to put it in a closet. I love it, it is from West Elm. Now let's move on to this really cute setup that I have right here. Oh, you guys, I cannot wait to show you guys my home. I will officially have an entryway, but for now, this is my little entryway setup, which I love. It is completely from CB2. The mirror is discontinued, you guys. Sadly, they only have the floor size mirror, which is gorgeous. Every time Eddie and I are in the Crate and Barrel outlet, we keep an eye out for it. So if you guys do make your way to the outlets, keep an eye out because they have been getting a few of them and they are stunning. I 110% recommend it. And the console table as well. I heard that it's ma it made its way to the outlets and it is an amazing console table. I will give you guys a little tip though when picking up this console table, which is a horseshoe console table from CB2. Be very mindful that it is super delicate. It is very easily like damaged. So I would definitely put it in a space where you won't be moving a lot of the decor constantly so you protect it and it doesn't get ruined. Like this decor of mine, I don't ever change it, you guys. It stays exactly the same. So just keep that in mind. It is a very delicate console table, but it is so beautiful. I love the design. I love the texture. I just, I love everything about it. Now, on top of it, I have my Architectural Digest book, which you can find on my Amazon storefront. And then this cute little pompous arrangement you guys see right there was gifted to me by the Pampa Shop, which ugh, they have the most beautiful arrangement. I will link their Instagram down below for you guys. Now, my living room. I did make quite some changes in here, mostly decor wise, and I did add a new console table, which you guys knew about, but sadly, I had not received it yet from my last tour, so now I can show it to you guys. Most of my living room is also from CB2, you guys. My husband and I are huge CB2 lovers, but I do mix a lot of high-end with low-end stores, so I have a lot of Target, a lot of home goods, a lot of everything. I love mixing my interior decor with high and low-end stores. So let's go ahead and talk about my living room setup, starting off with these beautiful boucle shares that I get asked about all the time. Like It is probably one of my most frequently asked questions everywhere, is where are my chairs from. These boucle chairs are from CB2. They are called the Gwyneth boucle chairs and I am obsessed with them. I literally love them. Like I want them forever. I am also going to be taking these with me and I plan on putting them in my husband's office, which is what I love about them as well. Just like our dining chairs are super versatile. You can use them in any room that you'd like. They went perfect here in my living room. My guests love them. My husband loves them. I love them. My son loves them. They're honestly one of the best purchases I've ever made. If you are thinking about getting these, get them. Do not think any more about it. Just go and get them. Now, my coffee table. This coffee table is also from CB2, but 
One thing I do want to say about this coffee table is that it is one of the pieces that I've mentioned in the past I do plan on getting rid of and changing it up. I will not be taking it with me, but for now, I do love it. It is part of the same collection as my console table. It is the, the horseshoe coffee table. It's beautiful. I love the aesthetic of it. I love the design. I love the texture, but because I am constantly changing the florals on my coffee table, putting candles, it was very, very easily damaged and we drink on the coffee table, we put the remote and we hang out here a lot. So it wasn't the most practical coffee table. I do recommend you guys most likely go with something else. Do not purchase this one, but it is beautiful. I just wouldn't recommend it. I do plan on keeping it for the remaining time that we are here and yeah, it just, it looks good while we're here, so why not keep it? On top of it, I have my Tom Ford coffee table book, which you guys can find linked on my Amazon storefront, and then these pampas that my husband picked out for me almost two years ago, you guys. We got these pampas off the side of the road and they've been with me for almost two years. I just, you know, de-shed them, I spray them to keep them like intact and they look amazing. And then that vase is from Pottery Barn. Now my sofa, the Candon sofa from CB2, this sofa is everything. I've gotten asked as well if I love it, do I recommend it? Absolutely, like 110%. It is the most comfortable sofa ever. I love the design. I love the curves. Anything round and curvy, you guys, give it to me. Like, I love everything round and curvy. I think it's very modern. It's very beautiful. It, it is performance fabric, so it was super easy for me to maintain it. It's super easy to clean it. The two pillows on top of it, like the boucle style pillows, are also from CB2. The reason why I got them was to go hand in hand with my boucle chairs, and it looks really good. I love it. Next to my sofa is my floor lamp, which I got from Restoration Hardware. I found it at the Restoration Hardware outlet, you guys. I know. The outlets are... Ugh, I, I love them. I love going to the Restoration Hardware outlets. Restoration Hardware is expensive, you guys. Keep that in mind. But if you do come across a really good find at the outlet, I recommend you guys pick it up. And I love it. I picked up this lamp almost two years ago now. Yeah, almost two years ago, you guys, wow. And yeah, I love it. The mirror behind it, I got it at the West Elm outlet. I got it at the outlet for a really good price. I know you guys can definitely come across it. Again, if you live in the Inland Empire, then you can go check out the West Elm outlet and it's a really good outlet. You can come across a ton of good pieces. That's where I got that mirror right behind my sofa. Now, the bookshelves, those are from CB2. I got them not too long ago. They were one of the new pieces that I added to my living room. If you guys are my OG subscribers, all of my oldies but goodies, like, Sound off in the comments if you guys have been following me since I moved into my apartment. You guys remember that my living room went through an entire makeover. So let me know if you guys have been with me since the beginning. If you're an oldie but a goodie, you guys saw my living room transform. And those bookshelves are actually something that I added, which I absolutely loved. They are from CB2. I love how they have like that brass gold detail to them, the glass shelves. If you are actually in my apartment and you're looking at the shelves from the side, they look 3D, they look like they're popping out of the wall, which we loved. We do plan on also taking those with us. And yeah, right now I have a ton of Target decor. You guys know I love Target. I have a lot of Target decor and home goods finds and I'm obsessed with them. I love a very minimal aesthetic, neutral aesthetic, which is how I typically like to decorate my bookshelves. My chandelier was also a West Elm outlet find. You guys can find this one at the outlet. I will try to link everything down below for you guys. Even my pieces that are from the outlet, I will try my best, I promise. And last but not least, my accent chair was also so from the West Elm outlet, but it's actually from William Sonoma. Um, but I found that at the West Elm outlet. So you guys can actually find William Sonoma pieces at the West Elm outlet, which I love. So you have a huge variety to choose from, and I love that accent chair. I love that it has like that black, you know, accent to it, which my home has a lot of black accents with golds and neutrals and textures. And that's really what my style is, you guys. I hope you guys can pick up a lot of inspiration from my apartment if you need help decorating yours. I would definitely describe my style as very sophisticated and chic and modern and minimal and just beautiful. <laughs> I love it. I love that my home is a representation of who I am. And I just love decorating and helping you guys achieve this beautiful aesthetic for your home. Now, this console table, which is what I mentioned to you guys, it is one of the pieces that I added from my last home tour. This one is also 
CB2. <laughs> you guys have probably like, Brenda, your entire home is CB2. Yes, it is, because I just, I love CB2. It's just like the perfect modern, and they, I love their styles and their pieces. It just, I love them. So it is from CB2, and you guys can actually find it right now. I loved the design. It reminded me of something that you would see in a Parisian home. I love the Parisian like aesthetic. I love everything about Parisian homes, Parisian designers, Parisian interior decor. I love it. So this reminded me of like an old school chimney kind of, you know, vibe. So I had to have it. I absolutely loved it. On top, of course, I have my decor, the beautiful Tom Ford book, which by the way, don't forget to enter the giveaway. I love it. You guys can see I have it in my home with some fresh flowers. And then, oh, this is actually Actually, a gift for my mom. <laughs> this is not supposed to be here. I just got her a little gift for Mother's Day. And um, my setup is just my CB2 taper candle holder and then this friend that I got from Amazon a while ago. And then right above, we have our TV. So yeah, I love changing it up. You guys always see me switching up this console table decor all the time. If you follow me over on TikTok, you guys see me always showcase this console table. That's how much I love it. And that completes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this updated home tour. Don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and enter the giveaway. Once again, all you have to do is subscribe. If you're not subscribed, give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know down below where you would put that beautiful coffee table book if you were the lucky winner. I hope you guys get a ton of inspiration from my apartment to yours. Remember, everything will be linked down below in the description box as always. And I wanted to wish all of my moms a happy Mother's Day. We deserve to go spoil ourselves, eat some good food, drink some wines. I hope you guys enjoy your Mother's Day with your loved ones. Until next time, stay safe. I'll catch you guys all in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.